Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Be a Poser. Today we're going for epic heroism. To do that, we're going to be using the Hot Toys Anakin Skywalker 6 scale figure. Let's get started. Okay, here he is, Anakin Skywalker, the Chosen One, still in his box, exactly as he's going to come to you. He comes complete with a nice array of accessories, including these two switch out right arms, a full assortment of hands, both gloved and ungloved, and two lightsabers, Anakin's own blue one and Count Dooku's red one. Really stoked to see what I can do with this thing, so let's get rolling. All right, here's Anakin right out of the box, ready to roll. Uh, there are a few elements here that I'm going to be removing. I think for this first pose that I'm going to do. As magnificent as this cloak is, and I'll readdress it later, I think for this opening thing that I have planned, I just want to have him in his Jedi tabards. We're going to use the lightsaber and we want that lightsaber to light up. It appears I'm going to be able to pull this sleeve up enough to actually work with it. Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, so I'm going to grip this thing tightly and then just pull and out it pops. Okay, the next step in this process is we want to get the batteries in here to power Anakin's lightsaber. Get that batter to get that screw out, rest it someplace where you can see it. Don't lose sight of it because as soon as you do, it's going to disappear. Three button cell batteries. Boom. Drop the first one in there. The second one's going to be a little bit more snug. So just get it part way in and then shove it in the rest of the way with one of your fingers and the third one is always the tough one once you have the batteries all the way in then get that door back into place take that little screw and carefully again as i've said before don't tighten that all the way down you really don't want to strip it you want it to come out easily when it comes time to remove the batteries now that we've got that all taken care of Anakin's in good shape. Oh, these tabards are wired. That's actually really exciting for me right now. All right, that's very, very cool. We've got that on. Um, I actually never did a power check. I'm gonna do that right now. Check it out. We're good to go. All right. All right, this is kind of exciting. This figure's moving along even faster than I anticipated. I knew that it was gonna look cool just because of the photographs that uh, Hot Toys did of him. All right, we got the lightsaber in. That's half the battle. We're gonna do a little bit of a force gesture slash combat pose. So we'll get that hand in there. And this is the part where I can throw away this stand because everything going forward is gonna be bent on trying to find that balance. Look how awesome this is. You've got, there are wires all over this costume. You can do so much with every element of this costume. They've really pulled out all the stops. Okay, so I'm thinking that Having the arm back, like he's just finished some sort of a flourish. I really want to go, I really want to take this one to the next level. I want to contort his body in a way that suggests some really intricate saber work. So you see that I've twisted, this almost looks unnatural, but at the same time it looks almost like a, like a dance. I'm suggesting some fancy swordplay, fancy fancy footwork going on right here. Like he's just completed a saber flourish and he's going to be using the force to do throw something at his opponent, what have you. The tricky part is going to be because of the way that I've got, well, so much for that. I was going to say the tricky part was going to be finding balance, but this figure is pretty solid. One thing that I like to do is actually just get down and look at it just so that I can make sure that Anakin's got some kind of a natural line of sight going on there. And in this particular case, it looked like he was looking down. I also didn't like the angle of that hand. I want him to be like he's pushing something away or throwing something away or using the force to deflect. The only thing that I don't like is the, the angles that are coming out of the tabard here, out of the sleeve, so to speak, of the tabard. And that's just a simple adjustment of those, of those wires in there. Once you do that, you can get the curvature of it to go to conform more to his body. Only thing left to do at this point is that. And there it is. 
This figure clearly represents Anakin at the beginning of Revenge of the Sith. He's still the hero fighting side by side with the Jedi against the Separatists and the Sith. The darkness is there, but it's buried beneath a veneer of heroism. It's still fermenting. So keep that in mind when you're working with this figure, and you're sure to hit something that resonates with that fantastic blend of darkness and heroism.